0514 at this point 0586861003 is the number to join in the discussion sanda is on the phone lines with us hi sanda how are you doing hi i'm fine how are you i'm thank you I, i'm good thank you so much uh, for joining us uh, this morning so tell us a bit about yourself who uh, what's what's your line of uh, practice and expertise and where exactly what exactly happens at chiron I'm a skin expert and a certified beauty therapist in Chiron Polyclinic and the founder of Sanda Skin Care Products. Uh, I have a huge experience in aesthetic industry in uh, UAE and uh, Europe so that briefly about me. Right. Um our clinic actually um I can say that we have the latest equipment in uh, the beauty market and um Definitely uh first we analyze uh, the skin type the issue the needs and uh, after that we treat each case individually right so sana we are in summers right now and uh, this is the time when we feel dehydrated i was just talking about heat strokes as well just a while back and uh, there was news coming in that sharukh khan you know sharukh khan right Okay. Uh, so he uh, suffered a heat stroke yesterday while he was in Ahmedabad because the temperatures had reached about forty six, forty seven degrees, and he was out there cheering for his team. So du- during summers, of course, everything gets affected, including our skin. So what are the common problems that you come across? Uh, skin problems, uh, especially during summers. During summer season, the um, the increase of UV exposure can lead to premature aging. and skin damage uh, including sunburns and high risk of skin cancer so uh, additionally to to the higher temperatures and uh, the humidity can cause oilness clogged pores at the same time um, some skin can be triggered to acne breakouts right. uh, disrupting skin balance and radiance dryness uh, causing wrinkles and uh, fast much much faster aging right so what's your advice for skin care during summers uh for skin care during summer first of all um it's better to schedule a consultation with a beauty therapist before anything because every skin type is different and has different needs so the professional is the skin expert has to assess your skin type and concerns allowing for personalized product recommendations <clears throat> after that you have to choose the sun protection which of course at the same time uh, the cosmetologist can guide you to that so, so select the skin care product your your cosmetologist can lead you to that can can guide you to choose the sun protection you need so because there be, different type of skin should, should we be using more sunscreen during summers definitely uh, it's not about more it's actually consistency because every 2 3 hours you have to repeat the protection is stopping after 3 hours but you don't need to use more as a quantity hmm. as much as you have to repeat 2 to 3 times okay uh it it's advisable to use a higher percentage like 50 to 100 uh, spf really for for the Dubai condition weather or UAE condition weather we need definitely minimum 50 spf uh at the same time for uh, for ladies uh at the same time for uh, for ladies they can use foundation with spf right now is very modern and can make it easy for them because they need to they, they don't need to apply two times one time uh sunblock and one time foundation So right now in the beauty market it's much easier for them. Right. We've we've got one question for you this one from Rahul is asking I would like to know should sunscreen be applied directly on skin or should we put some cream and then apply sunscreen on it? Okay this is interesting question because it's depending on the skin type. For example if uh, the person has uh, oily skin type then it's better to apply just on block Now talking about the sunblock there are two types it can be oil free sunblock which if she has um if the person has more oily skin it's better to use oil free sunblock on the other side if the person has normal to dry skin then it's better to apply first moisturizer 
and after that sunblock. Okay. As I'm saying, moisturizer, not just any moisturizer, but it's good to be with a hyaluronic acid, high percentage of hyaluronic acid for good hydration. And I repeat, to be for dry skin. This is recommendation for dry skin. Okay. Very quickly, uh, there's one more question coming in this month from Jaya. She's asking, how can I identify my skin type? I, it cannot be identified from, um, uh, from uh, himself. Uh, it has to be identified by skin experts, cosmetologists, uh, beauty therapists. It has to be from professionalists uh, in the clinic okay. uh, because there are certain things that uh, we need to analyze before we include which type of skin okay. is the person. Okay. Uh, one more question is coming from Prerna. She's asking how often should one exfoliate? Exfoliate, exfoliation is also depending on the skin type and which type of exfoliation because there are many different types of exfoliation. It can be a peeling, it can be microdermabrasion. But is, is it, it safe? Be, of course, it is safe, but this also has to be considered from uh, the therapist, the beauty therapist, because it's depending on the skin type, of the weather condition, and uh, also sensitivity of the patient. All right. Finally, uh, you mentioned hy hyaluronic acid, which is uh, very popular these days. And squalene is also there in your face moisturizer that you uh, use over there. So what what uh, benefit uh, do these products have? Um, actually, um, I choose in my product line, Sander Skin. All of the products have high percentage of hyaluronic acid and uh, squalene. Why I choose these ingredients for my brand is because um, all skin types need hydration. And this no matter the gender, the age, the race, um, including oily and acne skin, which mostly people think that when you have uh, oily and acne skin, you don't need to hydrate. That is uh, totally wrong. Um, the first in ingredient increasing the hydration is hyaluronic acid. In combination with the squalane, uh, is a moisture action that acts in depth, prevents aging, and uh, at the same time, firm the skin. So, um, commonly people know about hyaluronic acid, but they are not really known about squalane. Uh, and uh, phytosqualane is actually called the liquid gold. Okay. It's one of the healthiest liquid available uh, in the market. Okay. So, one what... Yes. Sorry, one quick question has also come in, uh, and this is quite uh, repetitive. This question comes in quite often. Uh, uh, you know, it's about uh, the uh, parabens. Uh, so people are generally wondering what parabens are and why they are uh, not being recommended constantly by dermatologists and by skin experts like yourself. Yes, usually about the parabens, this is a, a really a, a big topic, which we can just finish for with a few statements. So I will try to respond briefly. Yes, it's not healthy, uh, but at the same time, at the same time, some products without parabens first cannot last long. The product cannot last long. Also, the uh, preservatives. I mean, as the quality, as the quality, yes, cannot last long. At the same time, some parabens, some parabens, because uh, like I'm saying, it's a big topic. It's not just one word parabens. There's different types and different us usage and in different ways. So some products without parabens, they cannot exist. Okay. At the same time, at the same time, if they don't use parabens, also the product will not be that effective. Okay. So uh, it's, uh, it's what, a big topic. But what problem but do they cause when when they are used on the skin? It's very depending of the patient's skin and it's very depending of the product. And to cause any damage of the skin really has to be used in a very long period in a high percentage. Okay. All right. um, finally, we, we are running out of time. So finally, if you can give any diet specifications for a healthy skin during summers. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, about any, the skin? Uh, any diet specifications uh, uh, during summers for skin care? Okay. Uh, well, the most important thing, the most important thing um, is to use the sunblock, as we explained already. 
Use a gentle cleanser, suitable for your skin type, to remove dirt, but without stripping away the natural oils. And diet? And what about diet? Anything specific to eat? Uh, anything specific to eat as a diet, uh, I wanted to explain actually that most important is to drink uh, water. Uh, because as more you drink water, first of all, uh, you're going to um, throw away, flush away the toxins which is very important during summertime and generally for the, the whole year. And the next thing, you'll keep your skin hydrated. Uh, for diet, you just can reduce uh, any heavy food uh, and uh, try to take as much as possible um, vegetables and uh, high percentage of vitamin C. This is very important for summertime. Thank you so much, Sandra. That was really helpful. It was my pleasure. Thank you. So that was Sandra from Chiron Polyclinic and she was a cosmetologist skin expert telling us about what we should and should not do during summers especially because they can really cause damage to our skin and make us age faster. We don't want that. And you don't want your walls to age faster. You don't want your walls to look old. So you have to keep painting them and don't just paint colors, paint stories on your walls and that's what Jotun is there for. Uh, it's time to refresh your home and create new beginnings with Jotun.